The problem statement in question 14 says how many multiples of 4 lie between 10 and 250. So we have to find the number of multiples of 4 or the number of numbers divisible by 4 that lie between 10 and 250. Now this question is quite similar to the question to the previous question. So if you want to understand the key idea behind how to solve such questions better, just refer to the last the solution of the last question. So I'm going to explain the solution of this question directly. So what we're going to do is we're going to first find the smallest multiple of 4 that lies between 10 and 250. So we are going to find that multiple of 4 which comes immediately after 10. So that number is 12. And now we have to find, now we will find the largest multiple of 4 that comes just uh, previous to 250. And if you divide 250 by 4, you will get a quotient, you will get a remainder of 2. So if you subtract 2 from 250, you get 248, which is a multiple of 4. So 248 is the largest multiple of 4 that lies between 10 and 250. So the smallest multiple of 4 is 12 and the largest multiple of 4 is 250, uh, is 248, uh, with the constraint that these multiples lie between 10 and 250. Now the other multiples, if we write them out, so the next multiple after 12 will be 16, then it will be 20, then it will be 24 and so on. So all these multiples of 4 clearly form an arithmetic progression. And the first term of this arithmetic progression is 12 and the common difference is 4 because to go from any multiple of 4 to the next multiple of 4, we will have to add uh, plus 4. Now the last term or the nth term is 248. So let's write this as Tn is equal to 248. Now we have to basically find the number of terms in this arithmetic progression. That will give us the number of multiples of 4 lying between 10 and 250. And to do that, we can just find the position of this last term, the index of this last term. Basically, we can find the value of n. So let's do that. So Tn in terms of a and d, this will be equal to a plus n minus 1 d. Let's plug in the values. So Tn is 248, A is equal to 12, and D is equal to 4. So we get 12 plus 4 times N minus 1. And now let's simplify. So we get 4 times N minus 1 is equal to 248 minus 12. So that's 236. And this means that N minus 1 is equal to 236 by 4. Uh, this is equal to uh, 59. Okay, so n-1 is equal to 59 and this means that n is equal to 1 plus 59 or n is equal to 60. So the index of 248 in this AP is 60, which means that there are 60 terms in this AP or in other words, there are 60 multiples of 4 that lie between 10 and 250. So that's our answer. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.